Hey, how's it going everyone? So I have two courses coming out soon. One is going to be a Django beginners course. That's going to be uh, that portfolio website that I'm working on. And another one is going to be my Django react e-commerce course. So before I get into those, I want to do a quick little review, give you a channel update and what's coming and what to expect. So uh, the first thing is the portfolio websites where you guys sent in your portfolios, your projects. I'm going to be putting that video together soon. So some of you guys will get back an email where I'm probably going to prep an interview with you guys just to get some more detail, but that is going to be coming shortly. Keep sending those in. I'm loving what I'm seeing. And the next thing is I did a interview with Francesco on his YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is link that video up below. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you like that video, if you like his channel, definitely subscribe to him. He's a new YouTuber and it's really exciting to see what he's doing. He's interviewing a bunch of YouTubers, a uh, bunch of tech people too in the industry. So it's not just YouTubers. Go check him out and show him some love there. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the two projects. So the first one is this uh, portfolio website that I'm building. Now, this is taking a little bit longer because I ended up making this into two things. One is going to be a full Django beginners course. So it's been a year since I put out my last course or my Django course, that full overview course. And what I'm trying to do is make this a beginner level course. And uh, at the same time, I added a bunch of features to it. So as a developer, we always get excited about new things. And I thought that if I'm making this into a beginner's course, I might as well add in some features that are going to give you more of an overview of what's going on. So let's go ahead and review that website. So this is the portfolio website. A lot of you guys already have seen the uh, introduction to it, that little time lapse video that I did. Long story short, it's just a portfolio site where you can uh, write blog posts, there's search functionality to it, pagination. And the coolest thing about this that I really liked, we're actually, we're actually going to end up hosting this. Uh, the coolest thing I think is going to be this uh, editing feature. So when we sign in, and we did add this too, so you can register, you can sign in, get password reset uh, capability. So that's all going to be in that course. It's going to be a pretty advanced course. So once we have a video, we're actually going to be able to edit it. And this is what I'm really excited about right here, this rich text editor. So um, essentially, you're going to be able to write really good blog posting formats. Now, Django is not necessarily built for this, but it's a cool feature to be able to show you guys. But this way you can actually have a blog from your own website built in Django. So that's the first thing and that's kind of the overview of that entry level course so we're going to learn about setting things up the beginner stuff and then database relationships crud functionality and so much more and the thing that i added to this this is going to be uh, each user is actually going to have their own account so let's go back into this theme setting we're going to have an account here and one thing you'll notice is you're going to have orders within your account now what i did here is let's say you have some kind of portfolio site or your blog and you want to sell some products let's say you have some t-shirts uh, maybe you have an ebook you want to sell i created a full e-commerce feature to this website where people can shop your website so what I'm doing here is I have an e-commerce course already out there, but I added a lot of JavaScript to that. And at the same time, I wanted to change up how I'm building this and make it much more beginner friendly, uh, a little bit more simple. And I did learn a few things along the way that I wanted to change up. So this is why we added this e-commerce feature. So in this case, uh, let's go ahead and actually clear our cart. So we're going to delete all these items and a user is going to be able to go in here and let's say they want to, uh, let's say they want to buy Florin Pops book here. So, we want to add some quantity in there. We want to get two of those books. We want to continue shopping. And now let's say we want to buy James Quick's book on uh, his book on growing a YouTube channel. So let's get six of those. We want to give some of those to our friends. And maybe we don't like one of our friends anymore. So let's remove two of those and we're able to update it. So that's the features of this. We are adding in PayPal payment integration. And then once a user processes this order, they're going to be able to go to their account and view all of their orders. So another thing we have here is the admin functionality. So whenever somebody actually buys a product, the stock quantity does change. So they're going to be able to set the quantity and we can see from our admin panel how many products we have. We can add new products and what we have in stock here. We can update things like the price, uh, more information about it. Let's say we want to update the image. We're going to be able to update all of that from our admin panel. Then we can go into our orders and we can see all of our users and all of the orders they've placed. So uh, right now, because I'm, I'm considered a super admin, this is like the person that's running the website. Uh, I can see all the orders, but somebody that's just a customer on our website will not have this tab right here. Now, if we go into users, we can see all of the users here 
And that's about it for the online store. And one thing that I did forget to mention is that we do have comments down here somewhere. So let's go into a different blog post. If we go into, let's go into my SEO blog post, scroll down here, we have a comment section now. So I can just leave a comment and say, uh, this was awesome and submit that. It lets me know that that was submitted. And now I can see my comment there. So this is with uh, no JavaScript so far. The only part we're gonna start using JavaScript in is for this feature right here to update that cart total uh, for PayPal and that's about it. So that's course number one. Let's go to course number two. So this is gonna be my Django React course. And now this is actually Brad Traversi's course. He did a full Mernstack course on it and we decided to collaborate where I took his project from Node.js and Express and change the back end to Django. So the front end is all gonna be the same, it's all React, and I updated his website. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here and some of the features. So we have our basic store here, and the first thing we can do is we can search here. So let's just start typing in AM here. Uh, looks like I didn't turn on that server. So let me go ahead and switch it because I'm running both of these on port 8000, and I need to update that. So let's turn, in our back, turn on our back end for this. And let's go back to this. So if I start typing in AM, it's gonna give us everything that contains the two letters AM uh, in that product. So we're able to search products here. And if we go to these products, we're able to see it. We do have uh, stock and we're able to change that quantity. We can order all the products in stock. Now, if I go ahead and add all of these, I can purchase all the products. But let's say we want four of these. We'll add these to cart. Here's our shopping cart. We can update it directly from here. So this is now with JavaScript. So you're gonna notice the functionality is gonna be a little different from uh, from this website here. So from this shopping cart, it's gonna be a little different. I turned off that server so I can close it. So let's go ahead and add another product here. So this one is out of stock. So we'll go back to, let's grab this Xbox right here and we'll grab two of them. And now we have two products in stock and let's go ahead and check out the rest of our store. So we have our featured products. You'll notice we have reviews here. We only added one review. And uh, this is actually our pagination. So I just wanted to mention that quickly. And let's go to our product here. So we can see reviews here. A user can write these reviews. They can give us a rating here and then the product description. So let's go to the actual cart. Now, the cool thing about this is if I wasn't signed in, all of this would still be built within, uh, this is within local storage here. So it's all stored within the browser and we don't actually add these products into a database until we're checking out. So right now, if I open up my browser here and I'll try to zoom in, let's see if that helps us here. So we're having all of our car information right within the browser and we're storing it here rather than adding it to a, rather than adding it to a database. So if we go ahead and proceed to checkout, let's add some address here. It's not my real address. And we'll continue with our card options here and let's go ahead and place this order. So once we have this order, it's going to have us, it's going to give us our status on this order. Right now it's not delivered. We haven't paid yet. And we're actually going to add in a PayPal option. I just haven't built this in yet. Essentially the user can just check out with PayPal. So we can see our order history, the total and everything about our order. Now, if we go to our profile, we're able to update our password, update our account, see order details right now. Let's say if I go to this order, this one was delivered and we have all the information with it and that's ready. Um, it's a processed order. So that's about it. Outside of this project, we do have an admin panel like I do with the other projects. So you're going to be able to add new products, update quantity, stock, um, and all sorts of stuff like that. So uh, that's about it for the two courses. And uh, one thing I wanted to just kind of cover right now is the future of the channel. So I do have these two courses coming. I do have a lot more coming down the road. Um, I'm just going to do a lot of small projects and uh, basically just these talking head videos where I'm going to be giving you overviews. I do have a, a Django roadmap I want to cover and uh, just little tips and tricks and stuff like that. So if you're uh, if you're enjoying this channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. But uh, for those of you guys that noticed I was doing more videos like this rather than courses, I haven't stopped. I just have a lot of my own projects. I'm still working on these courses. They do take time. So some of you guys got upset at me for not putting out courses. Um, I'm still getting to it. I'm putting out a lot, but anytime I'm not putting out a course, I'm going to be doing videos like this tips and tricks. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.